Recently we also added some JSON API support to OpenSNP. So let's say you are interested in finding out about all users who are on OpenSNP and if they have uploaded any genotyping files yet. What you can do is you can point your browser or your script to users or opensnip.org slash users.json and this is what you will get. You will get an array of all users and links to their genotyping files if we have any of them. Similarly, you can find out about phenotypes. If you go to phenotypes slash json and enter a user ID. For example, I'm user ID number one, I enter here at one dot json. I get a list, a JSON formatted list of all my phenotypic information, which I then could use for some in my scripts to analyze the data on OpenSNP, for example. So, and what you also can do is you can query information for more than one user, either by using a comma separated user IDs, so like this one, six, and eight. What you will get is the list of the different phenotypes for those three users or if you are interested in more users you can use 1210 using the dash and you get information about those 10 users which are in this range. Similarly you can also ask about SNPs so let's point to the JSON API at SNPs and say we are interested in RS7412. I can just add JSON here and I will get a list of all the different users which have this SNP and their genotypes. So if I'm interested in getting LU frequencies or genotype frequencies at a given SNP, I can use this. But again, I can also query about all different users, uh, about different users and not all. So I just add snips.json and so again, it's the same ID and I'm interested in the genotype for myself. I add 1.json, this is the user ID, and I'll get my genotype at this specific SNP. And again, I can also use the comma separated for more than one user or the dash to get a complete list of different users. So this is the basic API support we have right now. And if you're interested in using it, the guys of uh, Open RSI, uh, it's called R Open Sci, sorry, um, implemented this. And if you're using R for your statistical tests, you can directly use OpenSNP using the JSON API without much of a problem. Another thing we have implemented in OpenSNP quite recently, and which is not 100% finished yet the support for the distribute annotation system. The distribute annotation system allows you to reuse genetic information in, for example, genome browsers. So if we just go to opensnip.org slash das slash sources, we'll get a standard distribute annotation system protocol re reply, which gives the list of all the different genotyping files we have on OpenSNP. And yeah, this is just so you can find out where the specific DAS features are located. So for example, to reuse it, we can go to my Cario view, which is a genome browser, which is specialized for usage with uh, personal genetics information. So we just remove all those different SNPs here, keep the basic facts about genes, uh, human genes involved in genetic disorders, uh, copy number variations, autism and cancer variations, and somatic mutations in cancer, which might be interesting for us. And then we can go back here to the dust sources. And for example, let's take this one, this is Stamenta, and go add your data and to say Samantha's genotype add this URL and yeah add it as a source and similarly we can also use 
my genotyping results and say Bastian's genotyping result genotype so add this and now we can enter a SNP ID, a gene, a chromosome, stuff like this. So let's say we are interested in breast cancer related early onset genes here. We can click on submit and what happens is we get a nice list or a nice visualization. Here you see our 23 different chromosomes. We see where on this chromosome 13 we are and then what we also see here are the gene names. Here is BRCA2 and we see the cancer mutations listed here and we can click on any of them to get more information. And here we have two tracks. This is Samantha's genotyping results. We can click on it. We see there the variation and we can also get a link back to OpenSNP about this specific SNP if you want to get learn more about it. And so I am carrying here a GG and well, Samantha also does. And if we click here, here's an TT and I have CC at this position for example. So we can use this to compare genotyping results between users for example. And you can use it to visualize your own genotyping results if you're interested in it. So the DUST protocol, you can read about this on the web really much and well what it basically does is if you use this features link here you can say segment equals some chromosomes so let's say I'm interested in chromosome 16 at the positions 1000 to 10,000 and then it would give me back all the different SNPs which are located in this range so there are none let's just yeah so let's up it a bit and then we see all the different snips which are located in this and this is how it basically works so yeah i think the main feature i'd like to present here is that we have two different apis the simple json one and the more standardized uh, distributed annotation system which you can use to visualize the data and get data out of open snip right now